The past couple of weeks have been absolutely loaded with cabin work, trying to tackle the interior and get closer to actually moving in. It feels like a big race against the snow and with the winter season officially here, it won't be long until the ground is completely covered. This ongoing project has been a true test of patience and dedication and now the light at the end of the tunnel is very visible. I just finished sanding most of the boards and Kyle is cutting beams, which has proven to be really difficult. So I'm going to go into this a little unconventionally and go top to bottom because I don't think we have enough boards to cover the wall completely and these boards already look different than the ones that they're going to be right up against but it's a cabin and they're all barn boards so it should go fine but I do want the part that you're going to see with your eyes to be pretty uniform and then once I get to the bottom I can dip back into <clears throat> the stuff left over from the first wall and yeah we'll see how it looks. These boards are matching the ones on the adjacent wall a lot better than I thought they were going to, but when I went to put up the first piece, I forgot that the wall near the wood stove is a bit farther out than the rest of the wall, so I do have to cut for this. 42, okay, yeah. thinking is I would bring it all the way up. Kyle and I gathered more barn board in the snow and came the next evening, but this time we were going to sleep there to get more done. We were up past midnight chipping away on our tasks when the start of a blizzard hit. A little late to doing it this year because I needed to come up with the formula for my boot bomb but we're applying it today we're gonna go test it out we got a ton of snow last night and also last night our boots got really soaked from it so this should help my Berkshire boot bomb is a leather conditioner so you can use it on gloves jackets belts anything made of true leather when you go to apply it you want to make sure that your leather is warm and that the boot bomb is also really warm. It'll go on like butter and actually soak in and penetrate the skin of the leather. And it's really a fun and meditative thing to do anyway. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait to go outside. The amount of snow is already so whimsical, but then the sky is completely clear and a beautiful baby blue. This is really interesting. I just trudged the snow yeah. and clanked my boots off on the tree right there. Yeah. They're com there's not a speck of snow on them. Whereas <laughs> last night when I would do it, they wouldn't even clean off that much. Yeah, mine didn't either last night. This is like, I mean, this is a testament. Can I, this wow. is unreal. 
There you have it, folks. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool. Last night, I almost finished the wall. There's only one piece that needs to go on it, but it was snowing so heavily that our boards were getting completely covered and it was hard to sort through them, but it's cleared up now, so we get that done before I head out today. This is the last piece, and then we're putting a nailer along the bottom to do a little bit of trim. Or what is it called? Floorboard? Yeah, it'll be baseboard, so it'll cover up. Yeah, so here we go. feels so good to be out here skiing again. This is actually our second day, so I don't want to hold Kyle back. He's a lot better than I am. This is my third year. He's been teaching me every year, so I really need to get back into the groove of things and take my time and work on my technique, and hopefully this will be my best year yet. Skiing today ended up being really tough, probably for a few reasons. One of them being that I got new skis this year. They're skins instead of fish scales and a lot thinner. Um, so I'm adjusting to balancing with that. And then the conditions were iffy today. Kyle said there wasn't really any kick and he was struggling too. But I also kind of felt like I was rushing. I always tend to go a little fast and lose my technique. So I ended up sliding all over the place today. When you are having difficulty with something you wanna be really good at and master, it's discouraging and frustrating and you can either let that destroy you and disappoint you or you can take it and use it as motivation to persevere. So that's what I'm gonna do, just keep going as often as I can, but either way, it's always so good to just breathe that cold winter air and watch the sunset. 
It is Christmas Eve. I feel like I'm in a little bit of a frenzy right now, trying to get everyone's gifts in their bags. I've been making a lot of gifts from scratch this year too. That's always a blast. No! <laughs> Sorry everyone, you're getting shredded wrapping paper this year. Oh, he's really tearing it to shreds. <laughs> You are so bad sometimes. <laughs> Going to go head over to my parents in just a little bit with Kyle for some Christmas Eve celebrations and my sister who lives in Rhode Island will be home shortly. We weren't expecting her. <gasps> what? We weren't expecting her till tomorrow, but she's here now. Are you mad that I moved you from your tissue paper? <laughs> I almost forgot. Last year I made peanut butter buckeyes, sort of a healthy version of them, and everyone loved them. I'm such a big fan of peanut butter, so I'm going to make a batch, change, and then head over to my parents' house, and we are having a white Christmas this year. Huge storm yesterday that initially was said to be rain, and at one point it got up to 50 degrees, but once the sun started setting, it dropped the temperature real fast and we got tons of snow so we haven't had one of these in years it's gonna be beautiful oh it is beautiful but Yeah, down the side. Here? Yeah, down the side. 